Hello, hello, hello. What's up, mate? Hello, everyone. Um, this is Al Kartiya. My name is Hamalaid. Um, today I will give you a short presentation on the topic of uh, ethnic cleansing. This topic comes under the head, the uh, the main, you know, helpline which is a atrocity crime so we been talking about the um, the crimes that come under the um, heading of atrocity crime which are uh, genocide uh, crime against humanity war crimes and this is the last one is the uh, ethnic cleansing right this presentation has been divided into three sections, as you can see, very simple. The first section is about ethnic cleansing background, to give you a brief information about a, what is a ethnic cleansing. And then we'll move to um, a definition of ethnic cleansing. And the last one, there is some resources, some more information about the topic for who for these people who are interested to get more information about the topic right if you are ready let's get it started please um the first slides is just um this a an image of people who are subjected to um uh, atrocity crimes we cannot call it ethnic cleansing but we can call it atrocity crime which can include war crimes, crime against humanity, or even genocide. Because, because ethnic cleansing is not recognized uh, in the um, or within the international criminal law, therefore, uh, is very hard or it's not really um, uh, professional to say uh, ethnic cleansing. So this image comes from the um, being provided by the United Nations comes from the um, West Sudan area called Darfur. Um, there is a um, ongoing um, uh, armed conflict there. So the International Criminal Court um, has a um, belief that there is um, a trusty crime being committed there. Uh, civilian population being targeted, uh, particular civilian population being targeted there, therefore uh, genocide and war crime, crime against humanity has been have been committed in that area. Right. Um, the first slide here is about the ethnic cleansing background. As I said earlier, ethnic cleansing has not been recognized as an, an independent crime under um, international law. The term served in the uh, context of the uh, 1990s conflict in the uh, former Yugoslavia and is considered considered to come from a literal translation of the um, uh, Serbo creation expression. I don't know how to read that one, but it's, uh, it's something to do with ethnic cleansing. However, the uh, precise root of the term or who uh, is stated using it and why are is still uncertain. So as I said, the, there is no a such uh, independent crime called ethnic cleansing, but ethnic cleansing come, can come under the um, crimes of war crime or crime against humanity or even genocide. But according to the international law or to be specific, in Tamil criminal law, there is no such a, a ethnic cleansing, just to be clear. Uh, the expression ethnic cleansing has been uh, used in a resolution of the uh, Secu uh, Security Council and the General Assembly and has been uh, acknowledged in a judgment and um, uh, in, in, decent, in, in uh, indictment of the uh, ICTY and the International Criminal um, Tribunal for for Yugoslavia, although it did not uh, constitute one of the uh, 
of the count for uh, prosecution. A definition was never provided. So, um, as ethnic cleansing has not been recognized as a independent crime under the international law, there is no precise definition of the uh, of this concept or the expect act to be a uh, qualified as ethnic cleansing. Uh, the United Nations Commission of Experts mandated to look into a violation of uh, international humanitarian law committed in the uh, territory of the uh, former Yugoslavia. Um, <clears throat> define ethnic cleansing in it is um, in in ter in times report s slash twenty five two seven four as a rendering an area ethnically homogeneous by using force or intimidation to remove person of of given groups of from the uh, from the area. So in uh, in it is final report S nineteen ninety four is like six seven four and the same commission described ethnic cleansing as a purposeful policy designed by one ethnic or religious group to remove by violence and you know terror inspiring uh, means the civilian population of, of another ethnic or religious group from uh, certain geographic areas the commission of experts also stated that the um, the uh, uh, conceive of the experts but practices used to remove the civilian population can include murder, torture, arbitrary arrest and detention, uh, extra extrajudicial or to kill someone without the permission of the judicial power, exclusion, rape and sexual assault, severe physical injury to a civilian, uh, confinement of um, Civilian population in uh, in um, in ghetto. Ghetto mean the uh, ghetto areas mean the um, where the uh, poor people or the yeah, the most disadvantaged people lives. Forcible remove, displacement, and uh, uh, deportation of civilian population. Uh, deliberate military attack or threat of attack on civilian and civilian areas use of uh, civilian as human shield, destruction of property, robbery of personal property, attack on hospital, medical personnel, and location with the uh, Red Cross or Red Crescent implants, among others. The Commission of Experts added that this uh, practice can, you know, cons um, cons constitute crimes Against humanities and can be uh, um, assimil assimilated, can be part of, you know, it to be part of to part of specific crimes. Furthermore, such act could also fall within the um, meaning of genocide convention. So, in conclusion, there is no I such an independent crime called ethnic cleansing. But the act of ethnic cleansing can fall into one of the uh, atrocity crime categories, such as war crime, crime against humanity, or even genocide. So this is all I can say about ethnic cleansing. So we come to the end of this um, um, this uh, video topic. So uh, in this uh, yeah, uh, there is some resource about the. Uh, ethnic cleansing and what happened uh, among the international community and experts uh, in terms of ethnic cleansing. Thank you so much for listening and I will be talking to you sometime very soon. Take care. Bye for now.